All right, with the uh, team time trial coming up, uh, I spent some time looking online on YouTube for uh, team time trial advice, tactics, stuff like that. Uh, it was very unsuccessful. Um, I was going to see if there was just a concise video that I could send over, but instead decided to develop one myself. Uh, team time trial is an awesome event. Um, it's coming up this weekend here in Memphis, and I have, as you can see here, my handy-dandy whiteboard with some uh, some info on the team time trial. So hopefully you can see it there. This is what we'll be discussing first off. Um, so for this weekend, uh, it's a four-man team time trial. The time is taken on the third person to cross the finish line. So. As you can see on point number two there, you are only as fast as the third strongest rider. Um, so going out and, and blowing up everyone but one person and then trying to drag, drag the group around uh, is not as successful as getting the most out of each person, their strengths, their weaknesses. Um, if you are the stronger rider, this is a big mistake that often happens. If you are the stronger rider, you should be taking longer pulls. So don't go out there and, and blaze the hills faster or power up the hills and, and think you're just dragging everyone and giving them a great draft behind you. Instead, keep it at, keep it in, you have to keep it at an effort level that the people behind you, uh, the third strongest rider, even the fourth strongest, you don't want to get rid of that fourth rider too soon. Um, you want to be pulling in an effort that they're able to recover at. If they're just hanging on or if they're above threshold, the odds of them being successful and your team being successful is, is greatly diminished. So you need to ride uh, longer on the front, but at an effort that they're able to get some recovery um, so that they can help out later on, most likely, um, or not get blown off the back by the end and cause, cause the team as a whole to have to slow down. Uh, communication is key, so that kind of goes along with that. I'll try to get this level for you. Communication is key here. It's tough to know, especially when you're in all your aero gear. Um, if you're just assuming everyone's doing great, feeling great, uh, that's not where you want to be. So make sure you're talking. After you pull through, pull off, communicate how you're feeling. If you're not feeling good, don't take a pull. Don't be afraid to take uh, to sit out a turn or two. Um, that'll, help, that'll help you in the long run. You know, there's no... There can't be pride in this. Instead, you got to put your personal pride aside and, and instead start thinking about the goals of the team, the success of the team. Don't feel like you're not being the team member you need to be because you're having to skip a pull. Instead, make sure you're uh, being honest with yourself and you know, how you're feeling and skip those pulls if you need to. Um, so that's it. I guess we got number five here. So it's very easy to go out too hard. If you think about a time trial, time trial is a super challenging event by itself. Team time trial is even harder. So not only are you pushing yourself, but you're being pushed by others. You have that extra motivation. So it's going to be probably one of the most challenging events you'll ever do. It's also one of the most uh, rewarding events once you're finished. You've, you've gone out there, you've suffered with other people, you've suffered with your teammates. Uh, you've, you've done an effort that you're proud of, hopefully. But it's so easy to overdo things. My first team time trial I ever did, we went out guns a blazing, feeling like we were holding back, and really <laughs> we got gone way too hard. It was a three man TT, uh, time was taken on the second person, and within a f what, three, four miles in, we'd already lost one, and then it became a suffer fest at the end. So when that energy and adrenaline stuff's going early, very easy to overcook it. So stay conservative, even more conservative. Uh, I'm going to set up the next point, so I'll be right back with you.